Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Out of the Park Baseball 21, episode number 7. 90 games into the season now, and we've begun the international free agent signing period. The best player available overall in terms of potential wanted max bonus. We didn't have budget for max bonus. Tried to offer anyway, but the owner was like, yeah, no, you don't have the budget for that. Uh, we did go over budget in offering to the second best potential player overall, which is Kai Shi Ting of, I think, Taiwan. And Kai Shi Ting, uh, we went to meet his demand. We have gone to offer him a contract. It looks like Cincinnati, Texas, the Angels, all uh, in on him. And uh, he didn't say he wasn't, but uh, it looks like he won't accept the deal. Meanwhile, I'm still trying to move junk for uh, players slightly better, not making any progress. The only progress we have made was our recent call up the right fielder Lewis, won rookie of the month in his first month. Uh, we, we called him up just at the beginning of June, like June 3rd, and he, uh, he had quite a, a solid month. So let's see here. We have ooh, recent signings already have started. Nuanez already went for the max deal to Milwaukee. Wow. Okay. That's the one I wanted. And I'm thinking we don't have anything left on this guy. Head Scout loves him. I like this guy quite a bit too. But he wants even more money and isn't as good. Let's switch over to what we have. Jesus Espinosa might be a good target to go for. Uh, a good catching prospect. We have high scouting accuracy on. Hmm. Why are we coming in? Oh, well, that's what he's asking for. Okay. Sure. I like that. That's a good start. Meanwhile, we're still looking to uh, trade junk. Uh, I have signed a few more free agents that have potential. Getting into the old guys up there, down to the two-star potential here. So we've signed anyone with good potential. Uh, and one of those recent signings has dropped to two stars from two and a half. That's not a big deal because that's still a two-star player in the player pool that just signed a minor league contract. So... It's a great way to pick up some depth to our minor league system that we can then use as trade bait. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to start to move into... Uh, he's hurt, isn't he? Let's not add him.
Oh man. Three weeks. Uh, let's go ahead and three weeks is enough. Let's put them on the injured list. And we'll probably bring uh, Walker back so we don't have to waste anyone else's. Uh, we don't have to waste anyone else's. Uh, oh gosh, what's that wire I'm looking for? Three chances to send them back down. <laughs> The heck is the word for that? I'm drawing a blank. Oh my goodness. I used to know this stuff in and out. I've not been as in touch with... Uh... With baseball as I once was. I haven't been watching as much the last few years. Where is it? Not rule 5. Options. Hey, there it is. Options. <laughs> Trade proposal. Hey, we got one accepted. Look at that. Finally. Three star, three and a half star starting pitcher for Logan Gilbert. A two star, two and a half star. Well, I think we're onto something here. Let's take a look at Gilbert. Two star of two and a half potential. Doesn't have great stuff. They see him as a potential three star, the OSA ratings. Meanwhile, we've got him as a three to three and a half star kind of guy. They've got him as a two and a half to three and a half star kind of guy. This actually looks like a good deal. While not improving us by a lot, this would not really hurt us either. I like this deal. And he's a lefty. Complete the trade. Let's do it. It has been completed. All right, we'll have to get him assigned. Also, we just signed Jesus Espinoza. Oh, to the end of Nice, that was the uh, catcher. The catcher that I was looking at, that was uh, pretty dang solid. And then from these deals, we do get one. Just a one and a half star guy, but still, it's a one and a half star guy. And we have all those extra junk players. We've traded out 10 for two back, so we've decreased our total by eight. But in the end, I've also ended up signing, what, nine free agents now? Ten free agents? So we actually still have more players than what we had. Uh, oh, and we've got some moves to make because I do have my, my guys here. Uh, but that uses up our budget on the international free agents, and it looks like there's only a few left anyway. Okay, so I feel like we're making some progress here. I do feel like we're making some progress. It's not been perfect. But we're definitely making some progress, and let's start with uh, waivers DFA. Here we go. We've got seven days to put you in, and he looks like he should be at the major league level now. Yeah, that's where he's been all season. He's one in five 
just under a 5.0 ERA, which isn't perfect. But for us, he's an upgrade. For us, he's a definite upgrade. So we want to get him into... Alex Smith leads the league in stolen bases, but there's no way that that puts him on the all-star list. Come on, game. Tell me what's going on here. Penn Murphy. Okay. So, again, apparently I've made some good decisions this season with call-ups because... I've really got more out of my minor leaguers at the major league level than I have elsewhere. Uh, you want, let's see, 33-year-old Blyer, two-and-a-half-star guy, four, one-and-a-half potential, one-and-a-half potential, and no potential. Now, it's a... That's a 33-year-old guy. I mean, this is not exactly uh, a good thing we're moving here. But these guys don't have quality. They're, they're not going to make it. Also, Blyer. Somewhere between two and two and a half. He's got fantastic control. And he's got some good movement, but his stuff just isn't great. Not exactly a top tier talent, but I could certainly involve him in a trade with someone else. I could turn around and, and send him along with another piece. I think I'm okay with this deal. Let's let's take it. This is trading up. This is using the depth we're acquiring, turning it into something more. And then I can then turn it into something better. Because he just he doesn't have the stuff. He might have great control, but he's hittable. But he's definitely better than some other options that we had. 
See, we're not even on the list, but somehow Penn Murphy has apparently made it into the All-Stars. So here's the All-Star rosters. And there it is, Penn Murphy just missed that list of top five. 4-3, 4.1 ERA. His numbers have been slipping since he first came up, but he's somehow above Otani. So we got a guy into the All-Star game, and it is a rookie who we called up just over just over a month into the season. For the Futures game, Mick Abel, who's 10-1 with a 0 0.8 ERA, even though we just... How does he have 112 innings pitched right now? He just was drafted. Aaron Fletcher, also in. 18 saves for him. And... Kellenich. Uh, okay, this is counting their their other stats, their college or high school stats. Yeah, two, three guys into the futures game. I like that. And there you go. Uh, 44 relief appearances. I mean, that's, that's a big body of work for somebody who uh, really doesn't belong at this level. <laughs> look at his previous years. He's not bad. He's just really dropped off the last couple of years. And I think that's just he doesn't have the stuff. So I, I will look to make Blyer move on another step. Uh, looking at... Looking at what's coming up. So I'm trying to think where it is. Yeah, all star game stuff going on here. Here we are. This, by the way, earlier in the series. I compared this to Major League. Why? This is American League only. Thanks for pointing that out. I've had some very useful comments. This being one of them. So we've scored 400 runs this season, which is no longer worst. We've gone from 15th up to 13th. The batting average has moved from 15th to 13th. So we're making some progress in a few of these. OPS is up a spot. So we've gone from the worst offense to the second worst offense with the best stolen bases which has certainly helped us that's why the run score is 13th and not 14th or 15th uh, defensively we're about 11th so again not good but not the worst Seeing a little shift in the uh, rotation here. I don't know how, how Graveman's still in there. Uh, Graveman at 29 might be a good piece, right? Maybe I'm seeing a, a trade develop here with Graveman at 29. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, we're slipping again.
it's a position we very much need, except for we're thinking two, four, two and a half, four and a half. That's average. Okay, he's got speed. He plays well. He's a shortstop. This is somebody we can throw the kitchen sink at. He's a double A player, developing. Let's see if we can uh, do something to get this guy. Like, Hakamir is a good one to uh, put in. Reliever with good potential. Uh, everybody's been asking for Wyatt Mills. Relievers are a dime a dozen. Okay, let's add that other reliever into the mix. We're already down to you must be joking, and there's still two spots available. I'm liking where we're headed so far. Uh, Graveman is the one that I'm more than happy to... Uh... Really, this must be a joke? Okay, and you're going to need something, though. You're going to need something. What uh, current shortstop is... Where is he hiding? Where is our current shortstop hiding? Oh, there you go, J.P. Crawford. Oh, now it's gone backwards. You don't like Crawford? <laughs> but Cal, you're still in the. Maybe this is the worst deal. Is they somehow code for you getting closer. Okay, let's see what five million cash does for you. It's an insult. Kitchen sink, kitchen sink, people, kitchen sink. Let's see here. Uh, what can we do better? Everybody likes Mills, so let's keep him in the deal. Let's take out Hackmeyer and back to that worst offer we've seen thing. Maybe the worst offer we've seen thing isn't so bad. I think we're going a little too bold here for uh, Tampa Bay is in a win now mentality. Okay, now maybe we're talking two and a half, four star. Already playing. at the top level. Okay, three-star guy, that's a good start. Three-star reliever. Okay, we got 
Blair, of course. And now we can start to see, let's see, Graveman. Graveman's first one I'm ready to get rid of. Kidding right. That means we're getting close. That's not a great return there. How about Walker? Okay, we take out Walker and what can we do? Ramirez. Back to me when you have a serious offer. How about we throw in some cash? Throwing all the cash we have. Really, this must be a joke. All right, all right. So you don't like him. Let's see what happens if we go for somebody else. It's actually pretty close, wasn't it? Alright, I think we'll be able to get our hands on a decent player. It can happen. I think we're asking a little bit too much. We're going to have to... Swap this around a little bit. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Be safe out there. Bye for now.